What's up guys, today I'm doing my showcase video on my Attack of the Clones Count Dooku from Star Wars Episode 2. Now this me figure turned out exactly what I was hoping for and was actually really cool in some scenes. So yeah, let's get a better look at him up close. So here is Count Dooku from Attack of the Clones and like I said I'm really proud of how he looks. And compared to Qui-Gon Jinn and Darth Maul, I think he's sort of topping them a bit. Because he turned out, well, basically better than both of those, I guess. And considering the fact that I've never made him before, I think this is a great first go at him. But either way, how would I make him? Well, believe it or not, the head, the hair, the cape and the lightsaber. In fact, the entire figure is a base. All start off as a knockoff. And that's simply because... I couldn't really be asked to buy an official one because they are way too expensive for me. So I just cheaply went on the cheap route, I guess, and got this me figure from a knockoff seller. And at least I have a Count Dooku me figure now, so it doesn't matter. So yes, the head is knockoff, but it's fine. It doesn't bother me too much. And so I used those parts, the head, hair, and the base of the figure. And then the chain, the two parts, which I'll quickly show you. So, I sculpted on these little circular bits on the side here, and on this side, to match like the style of the chain on his torso. And I think that turned out pretty good. And then I painted on like the middle, the middle portion of the chain, like this little, you know, semicircle sort of thing. I painted that rim going along the torso. So the middle section of the chain is painted and the circular bits on the sides are actually sculpted. And then he has like the, the wrinkles in his clothing and a painted belt which turned out pretty great. But that's really it for the torso. Then the legs have their own set of detail as well. Bits of brown painted on to match the style that is on his legs in the movie. And then this little waist cape piece, this big piece in the middle was actually made out of card and then I cut that up, painted it in black and then glued it onto the belt and I think it turned out pretty good. So I'm really happy with how that looks. So that's the legs. But other than other than that, that's basically it for Count Dooku, there's not really much else to see. There's no detail underneath the back of the cape because it doesn't really need it to be honest. I would have just left it blank and that's what I did here as well. And it's, sorry about all the background noise as well, so, yeah. I'm going to really quickly give you a comparison between him, Qui-Gon Jinn, and Darth Maul. So here he is compared to the previous Star Wars figures I've made of Qui-Gon Jinn and Darth Maul. And you can definitely tell a difference here on who's like the most detailed, I guess. I mean, personally, I think Qui-Gon Jinn turned out pretty okay. And all the straps and everything, well, you know, the robes and all that, it's out pretty cool, but I'm still like going back on what I said about Darth Maul with his legs. Because, like, this little part here just doesn't want to stay on. But then again, it sticks and then it just comes apart, so you get what I mean. But there's that comparison. But that's really it for Count Dooku, and I think he t I just really said his name weirdly there. That's it for Count Dooku, and... He's definitely a really cool looking figure for me, for me, so yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video featuring Count Dooku. I've been waiting quite a while to make him after Qui Gon Jinn Darth Maul happened. But I'm so glad I finally got the chance. And if you enjoyed the end result as well as much as I did, then be sure to hit the like button and comment what you think of him. Because I've got more Star Wars figures on the way. They might be coming in either 2019 or 2020. Well, you know, like, maybe at some point towards the end of this year I might do some figures. Because I have got Rise of Skywalker figures planned, I think. Maybe just a figure for that. But otherwise, when we're going in chronological order of Star Wars, I'm doing A New Hope after this. So that should be pretty great. And I hope you guys will stick with me for that project, when that happens, whenever it does. And otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And by the way, here's a sneak peek on who I'm working on at the moment.
a sneak peek. You can probably tell who that is. So, if you know who that is, let me know in the comments, because that's who I'm working on next. And otherwise, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.